All right, it's going to be a great open, but first I got to check my Instagram and my mail. Hold on. There we go. A little Facebook, some new. This relationship time of sitting here behind with you is great. I'm loving this. Smiley face. Hey, we'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up, where we wake Wake up. up. I'm Pastor Scott. And I'm Pastor Holly. We got an incredible show. If you're uh, listening to us from the radio, we're uh, we're kind of doing a show. It's it's a little bit about social media, but it's really about relationships. Uh, my message this weekend on relationships is all about that. Life is about relationships. That's right. Building them, maintaining it is about them. It. God created you not necessarily to go out and and do, but instead to have great relationships. And until you're developing those and building those. Your emotions are going to be below where God intended them to be. When your relationships are flowing and doing great, man, life is easy to be well, happy. Well, relationships are connected to our ability to be successful. Like we need people. People need people. people and so need people. we need face to face with people. And what you're saying is really important to me. It's really. And if you're once again radio, I'm I'm on my phone right today because we're going to be talking about what social media, what phones, and, and today's electronics and stuff is doing to relationships. Right. Our our scripture is going to be in Luke six thirty one, and it's Jesus talking here. It's, it's a whole thing. My whole teaching was on this whole part where uh, Jesus was telling us how to develop great relationships. But in thirty one, he says, "Do unto others." as you would want them to do to you. Mm-hmm. How do you want people to treat you? Have you been in a conversation and somebody asks you a question? Right. And you begin to go into a story and then all of a sudden they grab their phone or whatever else and they're they're texting or doing so who knows what they're doing. And so whoever is on this phone is more important than I am. Face to face. Well, in our day, it used to be, do you remember how like we would be, like if you were talking to somebody and, you know, someone better or someone different would come by or whatever. And have you ever been like, like cut off in the middle of a sentence or in the middle of responding because like someone else walked by and, and now the person you were talking to goes and talks to them. Well, this little contraption right here, as amazing as it is, is kind of the same concept, only it's always there. It's all of us have one. We're always on it. We're always, you know, checking it. And and to be really honest, we feel naked without it. I mean, right, right. I leave the house oh and gosh. accidentally leave it at the house and and for whatever reason i feel like i'm missing a limb i had dropped my phone and it had broke and then i came to the realization i don't know anyone's phone number right and i have no way to get a hold of anyone in the entire right. world because we don't have like a home phone or anything and i'm like i may just die here i don't know how to do i don't know how to do life without him <laughs> right yeah does it because in our day yeah. how many phone numbers did we memorize yeah, oh my them. God, everybody's number and we knew was memorized. Email. I mean, you, you had the Rolodex there. Like, da, 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 da. You had all the stuff, but now everything is on there. And so when we in relationships, we've seen we saw this. You brought it up to light, and we made some big changes because you'd be out to a restaurant for family day, right? And you look around the table, and everybody is on their phone. Yeah, no one's talking to each other. No one's communicating with one another. So what did you do? So I said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. And so we required that, ourselves included, everybody leaves their phone in the car. And then we proceed into the restaurant and we have, you know, our family time without um, the distraction. And I really think that this is a powerful thing. I follow a really cool... Social media personality. I think it's funny that we're talking about this. And one of the people that I really have been... uh, He's he's changed. I think he's changed our family, though. He has. Because, you know, one of the things that um, is out there now is that there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression with our Mm -hmm. young people. um, And they're really, really starting to kind of you know, blame social media and Uh I didn't get enough likes or I wasn't invited to the party. And, you know, back in our day, it's like, you didn't know that till the party had come and gone and it was the fun (laughs) had been had. I didn't know what I said (laughs) wasn't important. I I didn't know it wasn't funny. But here's the, here's the thing I think as a mom is, are we handicapping our kids or allowing them to handicap themselves? If people truly are, if we truly believe that saying that the ability to relate is connected to our ability to be successful or to succeed in life. Are we allowing our kids to handicap themselves um, 
by not knowing how to communicate face to face, um, right. how, you know, the importance of looking someone in the eye and, and giving them value. And, and, um, what you, you know, said there, I just want to pause because that is the key to me. It is relationships are about making other people feel important and making them feel valuable. Right. And when our kids are just, ta, 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 I know as ourselves. a parents, we're, we're sitting around the table. We're like, okay, are we just, we're not yeah. fun. We're not fun enough here right. in the moment. You're not giving mom and dad value. And if I'm doing it, or if, if me and husband and wife, I know that I got in a period, Holly's talking, and I'm like, oh, pss, oh, I'm sorry. And you have an excuse. You're like, oh, it's work. It's this, it's that, uh, right? And so what we have to do is airplane mode it. Put it on airplane mode, and now you're gonna come up with a little uh, a box in our house, and when you show up, you put your phone in the box. That's right. That's right. So that you can get to know the people that are physically there, that you know physically took the time to come and, and be there in person. And and um, I mean, how crazy is it? Like we used to get excited when we would, you know, as teenagers go to concerts or whatever. When you get to go backstage and and meet the people and you get to see them and shake their hand. I mean, how we would esteem that moment oh, wow. to just get to shake someone's hand or take a picture with them and be seen with them. And now it's all about with this little device in the name of efficiency. I was just going to say you. You, you made a great point. We've got so many really cool devices now, and I'm not, I don't want to get, I don't want to be mean we to those. We still have our devices. We, have we do, we have our devices. But, but everything has to have balance. Well, and That's we've got watches, for. and we've got, you know, we've got little, you know, Alexas in our house, and I mean, everything at the, just at just a word, right. we're able to be notified, we're able, and I think it draws us out of those moments where maybe we're having a one-to-one -one or, you know, there's nothing more sad than you're like <laughs> talking to somebody and they're sharing their heart and your phone beeps, you're like, oh, hold on, I and know. you need to check it. Right. And I think that we need to maybe... Um, Do be, unto others. Well, we just need to be mindful of it. I think right. we don't, you know, get rid of it, but we realize that maybe we've gotten to a level of imbalance in our lives and we need to... Um, Here's my challenge is be with the person you're with. Right. I think that's what we're saying today. Be with them. So when I'm with Holly, I'm with Holly. Well, what am I going to do if I get a phone call? Well, 30 years ago, right. what did you do? If you wanted to get a hold of me, you had to leave a message at my house and I'm going to get it at some point. There rarely is a time well, where somebody I have to get a hold of somebody right now. I would rather biblically make Holly feel valuable, important in the moment. Make my kids feel important in the moment. Make your friend that you went out to lunch with. I'm with you. This is going to have to wait. Yeah. I mean, we've just added another thing. I mean, how many of us as wives can recall that time we wanted to say something to our husbands, but they're watching TV or they're watching the, the mighty game that's on. And we're like, you care more about the game. Well, now really, in a sense, we've just added one more item uh, and I don't, I'm not just picking on husbands because I, as wives, we do it too. I mean, it's so readily available and raising teenagers and especially my daughter, I just, I think about, um, you know, how many hearts and how many, you know, check marks we get and, you know, yeah. what she included in the, in the picture that's on the music leads and the, these things. And, and I don't know, you just, you start to go, wait a minute, this isn't all that healthy. Like we have right. to be really, really careful and. And uh, so we're talking balance when we're with family and we, we're doing this now dinner time. Phones go into the little area and we have dinner as a family. It's value, value because the people sitting in front of we're you. We're talking, we're communicating. Relationships don't grow when everybody's on their phone. And ultimately that's right. what we want. We want our relationships in our life to grow. I want the Anderson family to be stronger in six months than we are today. How do we do that? We're going to have to, in our times together, put our social media, everything down and focus on one another. Well, and I, and you just said something that's really powerful too. It's like my value doesn't come from this. It doesn't come from how amazing and how many people follow me and how many people love what I post up on, on the different social media uh, sites. Really, my value still in this century comes from this. That's so good. We got to pray over the day. Dearly Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you that your wisdom will go forth today, that, that people will, will put in their heart what you want them to, to begin to do, to make those that they're around feel important, make them feel valuable, Lord, and that the, our social media and our things that the enemy sometimes wants to use to pull us out of the moment. 
There's times when I'm uh, somebody's sharing, and I believe the enemy sometimes can use that to pull me out of the moment, make them feel less valuable. But instead, we're going to do unto others as we want. And we're going to set up an environment in our life that is building one another. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I want you to enjoy this teaching on relationships. They say that most stress, worry, and anxiety that people deal with today can be linked back to relationships. They say that most joy, happiness, and peace in the same manner can be linked back somehow to relationships. If you think about probably your top 20 memories of your life, top 20, most of them, if not all of them for some of us, would be tied somehow to relationships. It was the first kiss. First boyfriend or girlfriend, it might have been a prom, it might have been a, uh, a, a it could have been your wedding day, it could have been the, when you brought a life into, into the world, your, your child w was born, there, it could have been a Disneyland trip with the family and the kids, or even as a child, uh, experience with grandma or grandpa, and they took you out and fishing, or throwing the ball with dad, or there's some memory in your life when you think about the top 20 that you can link back to a special moment within a relationship. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm so honored that like you take time out to give us thumbs up. <laughs> now that we just talked about social media and life. Yeah, you're on social media. We I told just, you not I'm to be saying. on social media, yet we want you to watch us. Well, it's just such an honor that you would, you know, just check in and, and give time to what we feel we want to share. Amen. Don't forget to visit wakeuptv.tv. You can get mugs and, and see old shows and stuff. You can also subscribe. It's so awesome. You get a text every day, and um, all you have to do is text wake up, no spaces, to 84483. And you can get a text every day, click it, it takes you right to YouTube. Hey, you have an incredible day. Don't forget to be in church this weekend because God's house is one of the most important things that you can do so for your life.